Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at AMD's uh, CES 2014 booth. We're here checking out uh, this new uh, ultra slim uh, desktop that AMD has, and I'm speaking with uh, Delmar. And Delmar, uh, can you talk more about the device? Yeah, sure. Hey, Jimmy. This is our Mullins quad core APU, our nano PC. What we have here is a desktop performing performance like PC in a very sleek, small form factor. So you can see on the front there's a camera. And on the back, we have a power button and a dock port interface, right? So with dock port, what dock port allows us to do is to supply power, USB, and display to the PC over a single cable. Gotcha. And right now here on this TV, I believe you have, um, you're, you're running this... Uh this desktop here? Yes, so this this demo here, we've got a nano PC on top of it, right? We've got FIFA 14 running at 1080p, and you can see that the experience is very good. We've actually got... Uh, and this is full Windows 8. It's Windows 8.1. Let me shift over to the desktop really quickly. Yeah, so you can see that it's Windows 8.1. And, and the form factor is just very uh, impressively thin. And I know you can't talk about the specs right now, um, but uh, can you talk about how uh, you could have talked about this briefly, but let's say you wanted more USB ports, uh, how would you go about doing that? Right, so with Dockport you can actually basically create, create a stream of devices, so you could basically chain these together, so if you wanted to change from HDMI to DVI, you could do that, if you wanted to have another dock with USB, you could do that, so what we would do is put a dock port in, dock port out, so you could connect the devices together. And can you talk about what dock port is, is it essentially just like a USB HDMI hub? So, so dock port uses display port, all right, so what we do with display port is we take a few of the lanes and we use them for USB and we use the other some for power. So because we're using some of them for USB, we can have, we can have network part, a NIC, we can put USB 3, USB 2, we can do as many USB ports as you can. Gotcha. And I think we have a, a slightly bigger version with uh, more USB ports uh, yeah, so sitting over here. Is, this is the large version of the Nano PC dock. So you can see that here we're doing charging over dock port. We've got the same dock port connector, right? And on the dock, let me actually lift it up for you so you can see the back. You can see we've got mini display port out. We've got a few USB ports. There's a NIC back there. You've got audio. Now the display interface can be whatever you want. We use mini display port because it's, it's simple. So this, uh, in, addi in addition to allowing you to have more USB ports, um, it sort of acts as a um, uh, like a device that allows you to use your tablet as a desktop right here. I think exactly. to the right where you're having this uh, second monitor. Exactly. So you've got your tablet form factor, but then you can take it home and use your productivity applications. You can watch videos. I mean, you could connect it to a larger screen if you wanted. But here we've actually got a demonstration of Microsoft Office products doing what somebody would do in the office or at home. Right. We've, we've got the keyboard and, and mouse set up here. So it seems like it's all sort of um, merging together, would you say? It is. It is. Gotcha. And uh, when do you think we'll see these products out on the market? So this is a 2014 APU, Mullen, so later this year. Okay, and you guys won't be productizing yourself, it'll be through third-party vendors and all that? Right, these are strictly reference platforms that we develop to inspire OEMs to build devices like this. Cool, thank you. Thanks.